What's up with the caravan of Central Americans planning to cross the U.S. border illegally? Tragically, it appears that desperate people have been made part of a dangerous stunt. El Salvador, Guatemala, and Honduras sit in a transit zone for illegal drugs heading to U.S. consumers who abuse chemicals to escape their first world problems. Central American governments are unwilling or unable to take on drug traffickers who are flush with cash and armed to the teeth. Vicious gangs murder, extort, and force young men into their ranks. Insecurity scares off investment and chokes off commerce. Every day, thousands of poor try to sneak across the U.S. border, but the caravan is made for television, exploiting desperate migrants to embarrass local authorities, defy U.S. law, and sow chaos. President Trump already has said he will cut off U.S. aid, which will undermine programs that help our neighbors fight drug trafficking and build healthier, safer homelands. So the caravan has done a lot of damage, dividing and distracting countries that should be working together. What do you think about the caravan that's headed to the U.S. border? Let us know in your comments, and let us know what other topics you'd like our scholars to cover in 60 seconds. And be sure to like and subscribe for more research and videos from AEI.